703 on Thursday, August 15th. We're at 65 degrees, mostly sunny today. We're going up to near 90 later. Good morning, I'm John Aaron. And I'm Michelle Bash. Our top local story, we are now hearing directly from the D.C. man charged in the shooting death of a 13-year-old boy. In a surprise move, he took the stand yesterday in his second-degree murder trial. WTOP's Mike Marillo has more from D.C. Superior Court. Speaking directly to the jury, Jason Lewis says back on January 7th of 2023, he heard something outside and, quote, thought somebody was coming in. So he grabbed his gun from a lockbox, went outside, and went at the gate of his property. Says he saw someone in a car pointing a gun in his direction and then firing. He says he returned fire and then shot two more times when he says he saw someone, quote, charging at him. The shooting would leave 13-year-old Karan Blake dead. In security camera footage, you could hear Blake saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and also saying, I'm just a kid. Lewis told jurors he has spent his life trying to help young people and is devastated by what happened. The prosecutors say he should have called 911 before going outside and using video say he could not have seen someone pointing a gun at him before he actually fired. Next, the jury is expected to hear closing arguments before they get the case to decide on. At D.C. Superior Court, Mike Marillo, WTOP News. Election 2024 on WTOP. President Biden and Vice President Harris will visit Maryland this afternoon. It'll be their first joint appearance on the campaign trail since the president stepped aside so Harris could become the Democratic nominee. WTOP's Mitchell Miller has more today on the Hill. The president and vice president Harris will campaign in Prince George's County. Harris's last appearance in Maryland took place when President Biden was the presumptive nominee and she endorsed Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Angela Alsobrooks. When we win majorities in the United States Congress in November, Angela's vote will help President Biden and me restore Roe v. Wade. Also, Brooks faces former Governor Larry Hogan in the Senate race. The president and Harris plan to stress their efforts to lower costs for everyday Americans. And Harris is expected to lay out her economic plans in North Carolina on Friday. On Capitol Hill, Mitchell Miller, WTOP News. There will be at least one debate between the two candidates running for U.S. Senate in Virginia. Republican challenger Hung Kao has agreed to phase off with Democratic incumbent Tim Kaine after turning down an earlier opportunity. The debate, hosted by Next Star Media Group, will be broadcast statewide. It's set for October 2nd at Norfolk State University. The Virginia Bar Association invited both candidates to debate last month, but Cow declined. There will be something new at some Arlington schools when students return. School zone speed cameras. WTOP's Neil Augenstein has what drivers need to know. Arlington is installing 10 new speed safety cameras in school zones. The speed limit in school zones is 20 miles an hour when the lights are flashing. Warning signs will be posted 1,000 feet ahead of each camera. When the students return on August 26, speeders would get a warning in the mail for a month. Then starting September 25th, school speed zone violators can expect a $100 ticket mailed to the vehicle's owner. Neil Lloyd can stay in WTOP News. There will soon be more passenger rail service in our area. VRE has approved adding Saturday trains sometime within the next 10 months. A spokeswoman says final implementation is being held up by contract negotiations with CSX, which owns tracks on the Fredericksburg line, and Norfolk Southern, which owns tracks on the Manassas line. VRE is also waiting for Amtrak to complete switching and signal work at Union Station. The Saturday schedule will add four trips, two into D.C. on Saturday morning and two returning to Spotsylvania in the afternoon. It will be the first weekend service in VRE's 32-year history. Coming up, even sit-down restaurants are rolling out value deals now. I'm Jeff Glabel. And we've got traffic and weather in 30 seconds. 